Hey traders, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to tackle the question as to whether you want to set a tight stop loss or you want to set a white stop loss. And in which cases should you set a tight stop loss and in which scenarios should you set a wider stop loss. So what I have right here is the position size calculator. Okay, so in case you do not know, um, the smaller your stop loss, meaning that the tighter your stop loss, you basically can have a bigger position size and that would mean that uh, you are able to make more money from any given trade. So I have put out this um, position size calculator just to show you uh, the math behind, um, math behind this whole uh, setting of stop loss to show you that uh, when you have a tighter stop loss, you can have a bigger position size. So this position position size calculator, let's assume that uh, you know, your account size is uh, 10,000 and uh, you're risking 1% per trade. So that's about $100 per trade. So if you're wrong, you're going to lose $100. And let's say uh, you're tra trading Euro dollar and your stop loss is 30 pips. So what happens when you do this is that uh, if your stop loss is 30 pips, uh, you can trade a position size of 0 0.333. Okay. So what happens is that if let's say your stop loss is wider, and uh, your stop loss in this case, let's say 60 pips, what happens is that you can see that your position size is half, meaning that right now, if you have a stop loss of 60 pips, you can only trade 0 0.167 uh, lots. So what happens is that your risk to reward goes down whenever uh, you have a um, bigger stop loss. And that is why uh, personally, I love having a tight stop loss, but uh, just in a moment's time, what I want to do is I want to show you uh, when you should do it or, you know, depending on where you are in your trading journey, uh, whether you should be doing using a tight stop loss or you should uh, be using a wider stop loss, okay? Because uh, a tight stop loss requires that you have accuracy. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to illustrate this concept on the chart first, uh, just, you know, just to drive home the point about why uh, the tighter the stop loss, uh, the better it is. Okay, let's say uh, you enter uh, over here. Okay, let's say your entry is somewhere over here. Let's just pretend and uh, let's say that uh, you put the stop loss below here. And let's say that uh, your target is somewhere here. Now you can see that this trade over here, let me just uh, draw it here. Okay, this trade, let's say you set it up this way and you hit your take profit. Uh, it's about 1 is to 4.85. That means that for every dollar you risk, you're going to make uh, $4.85. Let's say this same trade, uh, you decide to, you know, uh, to be safer a bit and uh, you enter the same level, but uh, because you want to be safe and you don't want to put your stop loss below here, uh, you want to, you know, put it wider just to be safe and you put it below this swing low, okay? There's nothing wrong with having a wider stop loss, okay? Just, uh, just want to clarify that. Let's say you were to do it like that and uh, you have the same uh, take profit. So your entry is the same, your take profit is the same, but your stop loss is wider. What happens is that you are only going to make 1 is to 1.71. That means for every dollar, uh, you're only going to make $1.71 uh, back. So you can see that in this kind of scenario, you are much better off because uh, your risk to reward is better. And that means that uh, you can afford to get it wrong more times compared to this. Because this one, if you every dollar you risk, you're making $4.85. Uh, you do not even need to be right 20% uh, of the time. You can be right 20% of the time and still make money compared to you know, this one, which uh, if you are right 20% of the time, uh, you are going to lose money. Because uh, net net, uh, let's say out of 10 trades, uh, one trade, uh, two trades is profitable. You're only going to make about $3.40 and uh, you're going to lose uh, about uh, $8. So this is why you want to always have a tight stop loss. Okay. So by the way, if you are new, uh, you new to our channel, you have not uh, watched our other videos, right? Please feel free to check out our other videos. Okay, right. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Uh, what I'll do next is I'll go through um, when you should do each of this. Okay. Because uh, having a tight stop loss is not for anyone. Okay. But uh, we also have a free day trading guide for you. So the link is in the description, right? Please feel free to download it, right? It's a very comprehensive guide as to how to approach trading in a systematic manner. Okay, make sure you hit the subscribe button as well. I really appreciate it if you just give us a thumbs up, okay? So back to today's topic, when should you use a tight stop loss and when should you use a, a wide stop loss like this, okay? Now, it depends on your trading journey. 
currently. If you are already quite accurate as a trader, you can find turning points like this well, then you want to opt for this kind because you have the necessary skill set uh, to pull this off. You are accurate, you, you are reading price action in real time, you know how to read price action, then you should be using a tighter stop loss because it will impact your trading results uh, drastically. You can see over here, this one is 4.85, this one is 1.71. But let's say you are the other type of trader, you just started, you're still struggling, uh, you're not yet profitable, then you should be using a wider stop loss because you are not accurate yet. You do not have the skill set to read price accurately. If you use a tighter stop loss, uh, you know, there is a probability that you know, price does something like this. Okay, it just comes down, takes you out and goes up. So in this scenario where you have a tight uh, stop loss, you need to be very accurate. You need to be able to pinpoint where your support and resistance are. You need to be very uh, good at reading price. So if you are still new, I would advise you to start off with this. Okay, Your job is not so much to focus on uh, making big money, but rather your job is just to try to get to you know, break even or just slightly profitable. Okay? So it really depends on where you are in the trading journey. Okay? I've seen a lot of traders, uh, they make this mistake. You know, they follow our channel, uh, they, they try to replicate what we do, have a very tight stop loss, and uh, they can't do it because uh, they do not yet have the skill set. Okay, so it's really a sequential thing. It's something that you grow into, something that you develop over time. So if you are still struggling, stick to this before you move to this. And over time, uh, you can slowly transition to this when you feel that you, know, you are getting better. Okay, you can slowly, you know, over time, just tighten it a bit, tighten it a bit, tighten a bit, tighten a bit. You do not have to, you know, see it as either this or this. Either I set a very wide stop loss or I set a very tight stop loss. Okay, it can be both. It can, meaning that you can slowly, you know, just reduce, you know, as you realize that, okay, I'm getting a bit more accurate. Maybe this time I'll try, uh, you know, a stop loss that is not so wide. Maybe I just put it somewhere here. Maybe, you know, you slowly adjust it over, you know, a period of time, okay, not just a not just one or two trades, but maybe over a couple of months, as you find yourself getting more accurate, then uh, you want to tighten your stop loss to increase your risk to reward. So hopefully that is clear, right? So thanks for watching this a very short training. Okay, if you have any other questions, this was actually one question that one of our subscribers had. So I'll just record this short video just to address this question. But if you have any other questions, just leave a comment down below or email us at uh, support at financialmarketresearch.com. Right? We love to help you. We will record a video just like this uh, to solve any questions that you have. Okay, we really are here to serve you, to help you. So really, really appreciate it. We just take three seconds of your time um, to like this video and hit the subscribe button. If not, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.